All right, guys, welcome back to Air Raid Nation. This is Coach Coltharp coming to you again with another one of our Learn the Air Raid in five minute videos. You guys love the last one so much that I thought I would come back and do another one. And if you love these kind of videos, man, please make sure you drop a like and a comment on the video. Let me know what you want in our next five minute series. And if you haven't subscribed, man, I really appreciate it if you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when we go live. All that being said, enough of that YouTube talk. Let's jump in the video. All right, so today we're going to talk about how you can learn shallow cross in five minutes in the air raid offense. So here we go. So basically, a lot of you guys have seen a lot of our information on the channel. We have a course over on CoachTube teaching you shallow cross, and it gets kind of, you know, in-depth and things like that. But this spring, man, we're starting off with a fresh team, and these guys know nothing about the air raid, and I'm trying to teach them the offense the best we can. You know, we had our basketball players for three games. I mean, three days before we played a game and we had to play a game a day early. And man, we got the brakes beat off of us playing in a cow pasture and it was just crazy. And um, I'll talk to you guys a little bit about that later on, about what some of the mistakes I made in another video. But we're going to get back to how we decided to simplify everything so we could get the most bang for our buck with the shallow cross, which is one of my favorite air raid concepts. Um, if you want to follow our journey um, through the spring season here in North Carolina, man, join our Patreon over at patreon.com slash 92 mesh group. Got some special videos. This week's video talks about using film, teaching your players. So if you want to see how I use our huddle film to kind of help our players improve, um, you can go over there and join that journey. So here's what we did with shallow cross. A lot of guys have a lot of different ways they teach shallow. I've taught it shallow in the past. Uh, a lot of you guys have seen my bubble series on how you can move guys around if you teach the bubble concept. And I really believe that that's the way to teach it initially. But we had to figure out a way to make shallow very effective with the least amount of tags and the least amount of reps because of the amount of practice time and the game time we have this spring. To, to, make, to, to kind of put it in perspective, um, I just changed my game again for the third time. So I have my third different opponent for week two today. And today is today is Wednesday. So we're playing somebody on Friday. And we thought maybe we would play two different people in the last week. So it's been really, really fun. So how do you go into a game with this kind of concept and, and figure it out? So we have five kind of parts of our progression for, for shallow. Um, we start with our pre-snap. Then we go to our drop read. And then our shallow dig back progression that we talk about in... Um, in the shallow cross. So obviously shallow cross is going to be three step. We're using the, the square shoulder drop that uh, Phil Longo uses at Carolina. We got a video on the channel about that. So if you want to use that, so it kind of helps us. So here's how we do it. We first look at the, the call here, which right now would be 90 H, which means our H receiver is going to run the shallow, obviously attack the feet of the defensive lineman and keep on running it through. Um, so what we do is we tell the outside receiver quickest uh, or closest to the shallow to run a quick five out. So we want to run a five yard speed out. And that is the pre-snap read for our quarterback. So if the receiver um, has enough cushion. So let's say they're playing a deep cover three or something like that. And the quarterback believes he can throw the five yard out. We're going to take it every time. Kind of like that gift concept. A lot of people use in the RPO. So we've put a quick five closest to our shallow cross and, and our, and our quarterback knows right now, if he decides that's his thing, as soon as he catches a snap, he's going to one step and bang it. So he comes completely out of the shallow cross um, process. Pre-snap, if he doesn't like that, he's now going to go to his drop read. And his drop read is the, is the far safety or the safety over top of his dig. And so what he's looking at is this. As soon as he catches that ball, his eyes are immediately on that safety. If that safety takes one step forward, then he's going to throw his bang eight post. Okay, he knows right now he's going to throw that bang eight post. And I tell him, listen, throw the post if you, can, if you think you complete it. But if you don't think it's there, don't guess. All right, if, if you have any doubt, go to the shallow cross thing. So he's going to read that drop read post. If he takes one step up, we're going to the post here, the skinny bang eight. Or if he takes one step back, we're immediately off of that. And now our eyes are going to our shallow grass. And then it's really open, grass open, grass closed. closed. We're going to outside release that H to try to turn the guy's shoulders. If the grass is closed, we'll move on to the dig. If we don't like the dig, then we'll go to the back like we normally would in our progression. So that's what we've done to shallow to kind of make it easy. Um, you know, it's a pretty easy concept anyway, but we wanted to give the quarterback all kind of outs and escapes. I don't like having wasted routes in, 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 um, in a pass concept. You know, a lot of times guys just run verticals for the sake of running verticals. I think your players hate you for doing those kind of things. So what did we do? We put a quick five um, kind of pre-snap. Then we, then we give him a drop read with the bang eight. So there's your home run ball over here. And then other than that, we're just going to go shallow dig back. If we ran it with Y, then Z would run 
the, the quick five and then X would run the bang eight. Hopefully this helps you. This is a shallow cross of the five minutes. Like I said, man, if you love these kind of five minute videos, man, I'd love if you drop a like on the video, hit subscribe the button. And as always, spin it to win.